So someone just posted a negative review on your Google business profile and now your business reputation is at risk. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through four methods to help you remove it. But before trying to remove a negative review, here is what you need to know. Google will only remove reviews if they violate their guidelines. So if a client posted a negative review that you simply don't like, trying to get it removed won't work. However, if the review is from someone you've never done business with, a disgruntled ex-employee, or if you're getting hit with review bombing where people leave tons of one-star reviews just to mess with your credibility, you've got a good shot at getting those reviews taken down. Let's go through the first method, flagging a review from your listing. If you're looking to get those negative reviews taken down, here is the first thing you can try. Start by logging into the Google account connected to your Google business profile. Just go to Google, type my business in the search bar, and then click on view profile. If you have more than one profile, make sure you select the right one. This will bring up your business profile management dashboard. Now, click on the read review option and find that negative review you want to deal with. Before you do anything else, it's super important to reply to the review. Why? Because while you're trying to get the review removed, which can take several days, if not longer, it's still there for everyone to see. By responding, you show that you care about customer feedback and you're proactive about addressing any issues. Plus, it's a great way to clarify misunderstandings and give other potential customers your side of the story. The key here is to stay polite and professional, even if that one-star review has you feeling pretty annoyed and angry. I know. If you're not sure how to respond, you can always use ChatGPT to help. Let's say someone left a negative review, but you're pretty sure they're not a customer and that the review is fake. Just copy the review, go to ChatGPT and type in craft a response for the following negative review that was posted on my Google business profile from someone who has never been a client of my business. Use a courteous tone of voice. Then use ChatGPT suggestion as you reply. Don't hesitate to customize it. Once that's done, look for the little icon with an exclamation mark next to the review. Click on it and you'll see a list of reasons you can choose from to justify why you're reporting it. These are all things that go against Google's guidelines. Pick the one that fits and hit send report. You'll see a pop-up letting you know the review has been reported to Google and it might take up to three business days for them to process it. Just keep in mind, this doesn't mean the review will definitely be removed. It just means Google will look into it. You'll also get a notification from Google thanking you for flagging the review. While this process is pretty simple, in my experience, it only works if the review clearly breaks Google's guidelines like harassment, hate speech, or profanity. Otherwise, Google usually won't take the review down. If the violation isn't super obvious, I'd suggest going with a second method instead, using the Google Review Removal Tool. A while back, Google introduced a new tool that makes it easier for business owners to report reviews for policy violations and even better, check the status of the ones they've already flagged. The link to access this tool isn't exactly user-friendly, so I've added it in the video description. When you open the tool, make sure you're logged in with the Google account connected to your business profile. If not, just log in and confirm your account. Next, you'll be asked to select a Google business profile. It should show up right below the search box. If you have more than one, they'll all be listed there and you can use the search box to find the right one if needed. Just select the correct profile and click continue. On the next page, you'll have two options check the status of already reported reviews or report new ones. Let's go through how to report a new review first. Click report a new review for removal, then hit continue. Find the review you want to report and click the report link next to it. A pop-up will appear where you can choose the reason for reporting it, just like in method one. After that, you'll get a notification from Google thanking you for flagging the review and all you need to do is wait for a few days to see if Google removes it or not. You can check the status of the review you've reported by using the second option available in the tool. 
This time, once you're logged in and have confirmed your account, click on check the status of a review I reported previously instead of report a new review for removal. On the next page, you'll see a list of the reviews you've reported along with their current status. There are three possible statuses. Decision pending. Google is still processing your request and is yet to make a decision. Report reviewed, no policy violation. Google has decided that the review you reported doesn't violate their policies and won't remove it. Escalated, check your email for updates. Your appeal has been escalated and you'll receive a decision via email. If the review you flagged isn't listed, it usually means Google has removed it, so congratulations. However, if the status shows report reviewed, no policy violation, it means Google won't take it down. So it's time to move on to method three, appeal Google's decision. Whether you're using method one or method two to try removing a Google review, the process is pretty much the same. You flag the review and pick a reason why it should be taken down. But just flagging a review isn't always that effective, even when using this tool. Even though both methods are similar, using the tool, however, has an extra perk. If Google decides the review you reported doesn't break their guidelines and won't remove it, you can appeal their decision. This lets you provide more details and context on why you think the review should go. To do this, log into the Google Review Removal tool, then select the check the status of a review that I've already reported and my appeal options. Then click on continue. Select the appeal eligible review radio button, then click on continue. Select the review you want to appeal, then click on continue. Right under the review, you should see a link that says submit an appeal. Click on it. This will open a form where you can explain your case in more detail and provide context, giving you the chance to explain why the review should be removed. After you submit your form, Google support will send you an email which includes a case ID number. Make a note of that number. Google usually takes a few days to look into your appeal and will send you an email to let you know if it was successful or not. If they agree with you, the review will be removed. If not, it will stay on your profile and you might need to try method four. Reach out to the Google Business Profile Community Support. If your appeal was denied, there's still one last chance to get that stubborn negative review removed. Head over to the Google Community Support Forum. I've put the link to it in the description below and raise a new ticket. Be sure to include the case ID number you received via email when you appealed Google's decision. Hopefully one of the forum moderators will be able to escalate your case to Google and help get that negative review taken down. Be gentle with the moderators, they are doing this for free and do not work for Google. What if everything fails? If you haven't been able to get a negative review removed, don't worry. Here is what you can do to lessen the impact. First, it's not the end of the world. A few negative reviews can actually make your business look more real. Nobody's perfect. Just make sure you respond to them in a calm and professional way. Second, focus on getting more positive reviews to bury the bad one in the mix. Third, whenever you ask clients for reviews, encourage them to add pictures to them. Reviews with images usually get pushed to the top of the list and stick around longer, helping to push those negative ones further down. Best of luck to you all, and if you want to learn how to manage your review more efficiently, I reckon you'll love this next video.